Hello, fellow st star people. No, that's dreadful. Oh, I've already started now. Well, whatever. Hello, really witty, hi, really witty kind of greeting. Yeah, just insert witty greeting here. Anyway, well, ha, hello. Right, yeah, so I, 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 am in my new ship. And I'm exploring, as you've probably seen from the title. But yeah, if we have a little look, hang on. I screwed my face up, bugger that. Come on, get my face properly, come on. I'm not tilting it, it's at a normal angle. Right, okay, here we go. There we go, now I can look down, I can look up, that's better. So I can look all over the place. And um, yeah, so I am on a special mission. Hang on. Let's um, charge this up. Right, uh, I'm not using the voice recognition this time because I, well, don't want to, because it's much easier to talk to you guys if I'm not using the voice recognition. So I'm not using it. Um, so I've, I've bound everything I need to to this, uh, to the joystick and stuff. And look at this. Oh, I love, love, love this game. So I've just come from over there, as you can see. Look, there's a, a star and shit over there. Um, but that's not where I'm going back to. I've just been flying away just for a laugh, really. Um, I'm on a special mission. Um, it's a mission I've imposed upon myself, really. Ah, uh, that's where I'm going. So, I thought that I would do some exploring for you guys, because I've not done any exploring for a long time. And I've just kitted out this ship. Now, if I if I use... Well, I suppose I can look around with my head, can't I? There you go, look. You can see most of it is glass. Even, even down by the floor, you've got a lot of glass. And that's because I am in... Let me just go into the uh, second, uh, third person mode. I am in a sexy, sexy exploring ship, which cost me a pretty penny. It certainly did, but it's worth every penny because it's an ASP. Now, this is designed to be an exploring ship, and at the moment in the game, it's got one of the... Eh, look at that baby. It's got one of the biggest jump ranges of the entire... Uh, choice of ships, essentially. So it's, you know, you can jump the furthest in this ship. Oh, look at that. Uh, there is one that can jump slightly further, but I don't have 160 million to spend on it. It's called the um, Anaconda, but it's a, it's a fraction more that it can jump than this, this one. Uh, this one, I mean, you remember my last one that I was playing? I think my highest jump range was like 27 or something. Get a load of this. I'm now in an ASP, which has a jump range of, when I'm full of fuel, which is now, just over 34 light years, and uh, a maximum of 36.87 light years, so nearly 37 light years. Uh, I've got a couple of modules, if you're interested, you can look at these modules, um, all D-rated, as far as I can go, because they're the lightest, so they mean I you know, carry less mass so I can jump further. Uh, the best frame shift drive that this ship can get, the 5A, um, all the others are D-rated because they're lightest. Fuel scoop doesn't weigh anything apparently, so I just bought a cheapish one. Um, and so on and so forth. And I've got an auto field maintenance unit. So if I fuck up and I go towards the sun, first of all, I've got heat sinks down here that I can launch, which helps. Uh, it helps distribute the heat, although this ship is very good at not overheating. Um, and the auto, there you go, the auto field maintenance unit, that if I've taken damage and my hull is damaged, that will help, if I enable it, that will help feel, uh, feel? That will help repair the ship. So even though I'm thousands of light years away from home, it will help. So what I need to show you now, I suppose, uh, isn't that, is it? Is it that? No. Also, of course, I've got the Advanced Discovery Scanner, and of course I've got the um, Detailed Surface Scanner, because you need those in order to do any any exploring. And look, the rebuy cost for this ship is 703000 All I've got now, after spending all my money on this ship, is 430000 almost. So, yeah, that's great. Um, let's show you where I am, then. I'm here. There you go. See? Understand now? No, I'm there in this sort of Rego system, which is quite a long way from my home, which is Cremain. Uh, oh my god. So Cremain is down here, as you 
well, as you can see, uh, that's my home. I'm currently 1,310 light years away. That's a long way away, and it's taken me a while to get, get up there. It's been about 50 jumps so far to get where I am. But the thing is, the reason I'm recording is because I am five jumps from my destination. Look, that's still not far how, I, how far I've gone, is it? Compared to the whole bloody galaxy. But anyway, um, where I'm going, let's just head back to the place where I am at the moment. One. The place where I'm going to be going is called uh, the Ghost of Jupiter. There you go, you can see it up there, little blue thing. Um, it's a very, very, very small nebula that's pretty much centred just around this one star. Um, and it's got its own sector and everything, so there's lots of Ghost of Jupiter sectors, but this is the star that I'm going for. It's only a few jumps away, five jumps, 140 light years from where I am at the moment. Um, let's just select it. There you go. Um, now, uh, it's also known as NGC 3242. It's one of those planetary objects in the sky. Um, it's an NGC, NGC object. Uh, it was discovered in 1785. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a small nebula. Sometimes it's called the Eye Nebula as well. Because um, it's about the same size... Uh, as a planet, as the planet, apparently. The planet Jupiter? No, it's not. It's massive. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> let's just get on with it. So, that's where I'm heading. And I've made most of the way here. Now, why the ghost of Jupiter, you might ask? Oh, my goodness, it's got dark, isn't it? Wow, the sun went in. I hope that doesn't affect the, the footage too much. But there you go. Um, in fact, I actually tell you what, I'm going to... I'm going to turn the light on. There we go. That'll just keep it keep it a little bit lighter and nice and yellow as well because we love a good yellow light. Um, now it's probably lost my face. There we go. It's found it again. So anyway, why the Ghost of Jupiter? Well, lots of people go, as you can see down there, to the Orion Nebula. That's one of the most famous nebulae, really. Um, there's the Coalsack Nebula as well, which is very close to the starting area. So lots of people go there as well, you know, as a kind of let's go to a nebula thing. Um... I don't know how many nebulae there are in this game. Most of them, the ones that I've found on Wikipedia or, or that I know about, are in the game. Uh, but I haven't been to one yet. That's why I'm heading to this one. And this one, I thought, well, I think probably someone will have gone to it. Someone will have visited it. So it's not like it's going to get my name stamped on it. Although a lot of the stars and planets on the way up here have got my name stamped on them now. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm heading to this place because... It's a really small nebula. I just want to see what it looks like. You know, there's if you want to go and look at it on Wikipedia first, there's a lot of images taken by the Hubble telescope of this place. And, yeah, I, I just want to see what it's like. So it wasn't too far away, about, yeah, 1,500 light years away. So not too far in the grand scheme of the galaxy things. Um, and there you go. There it is. And you can see it's got a bit of a blue sheen to it and a little bit of a, a corona. Um, so that's that's essentially where I'm heading, uh, but obviously I can't jump all the way there in one jump, so I need to work out my my way there, don't I? So, bosh, there we are. It's worked out a route for me, and it starts off by going to that star. So let's do it, let's do it. I'm, I'm really excited about doing this, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. The last five jumps, is it? Yeah. Plus four jumps, so this one plus four more, and I'll be there. <laughs> that bluish nebula. So anyway, yeah, it, th there you go. The nebula measures around two light years long from end to end. There you go. Bam. Oh, Wikipedia, when it said... Um, it's called Jupiter's Ghost, or the Ghost of Jupiter Nebula. Due to its similar size to the planet, it must be, like, the apparent size. Um, right, let's let's explore, let's uh, explore this sun and then see what else we have in the system. So, as you can see, it's scanning down at the bottom left there. You're used to this now. There you go. And now I'm going to do my detailed scanner, my um, discovery scanner, my advanced one. Boom! Discovered 15 new astronom astronomical objects. 
and they're all down there, you see? So that's the advantage. Do you remember in my previous video, I could only explore like 500 light seconds, which in the grand scheme of this, I mean, look, it's not very much. Only that nearest thing there, which I think is a, a planet, yeah, it is, is um, only that is the is within that 500 light seconds range, so I'd have had to search for all the others manually. And look, there's another sun in this system about 160 light, uh, light 160,000 light seconds away. So it's it's a big old big old thing. So this advanced scanner really helps. And let's just check this star. It's an M class star, so I can scoop it with for a fuel. There we go. Now you'll notice I've got a much better fuel scoop from last time. Oh shit, I'm getting a bit close there. There you go. Look, it gets it's it's up to about 360 a second, I think. I think it's kilograms per second. There you go, that was quick. And I've got a huge fuel tank on this ship as well. Anyway, let's uh, let's go towards the nearest one first, which is up here. I'm not doing a big explore uh, on my way to the nebula, because the whole point is going to the nebula. Uh, but let's just see what we've got in this system and see if it's worth going to explore them. Right, so there's the second sun that I was talking about. Um, all these planets look to be sort of icy, rocky planets, and you don't get a lot of money for those, so I'm probably not going to bother. I mean, I'll, I'll scan this one just because it's close by, but I don't think I'll bother scanning everything. Have I... Has anyone else been here? No, that I'm the first person to be here. I'm the first person to explore this particular galaxy, uh, this particular star system. Shit, I'm going to almost crash into this, watch. I'm going to fly right past it. Oh, shite! Ho 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 That was awesome. Right, let's um let's help ourselves and go back to it. There we are. Let's give it a good scan. Yeah, scan, not explore. That's what I meant earlier when I said explore the sun. Oh, look at this game. I, I still can't get over how gorgeous this game actually is. Right, so it's an icy planet. There's probably not much more to know about it, really. I bet it's just that. So it'll be the closest one in. There you go. Methane atmosphere. That's interesting. 10% metal. That's interesting. It's an ice world composed mainly of water ice. Worlds like this will not have had much heating in the past, forming in the cooler regions of a star system, and have retained many volatiles as solids within their crust. But it's pretty bloody close to the star, if you ask me. It should have had heating. Although, how hot is this star? It's a class M. Oh, right, okay, so their surface temperature is quite low, so it's not a very hot star, this one. Well, you can see it, there it is. That baby there. Anyway, right, it's time to go to the next system, I think. I'm not going to spend my time exploring icy planets, because you don't get very much money for them, and they're not particularly exciting. So I'm just going to jump to this... Uh, oh, it's the first in the Ghost of Jupiter sector. And look, you can see up there, in fact, if I point towards it, that one there in the middle, that bluish one, that's the nebula I'm heading for. So it should be getting bigger and bigger the closer I get to it. Very, very exciting. Ah. I've got to keep an eye out as well, because most times I've recorded Elite Dangerous, something has happened. I think it's to do with the voice command software that I had. I'm not running it this time, but what it did... Oh, wow, look at this star. Uh, what it used to do was um, it used to cut out recording, and I never us usually noticed. Um, so I just, you know, kept on thinking I was recording for ages. Let's scan this. And, um, and yeah, I ended up losing all that footage, so that's why a couple of times I've either lost the footage or just had to cut myself short. I love being able to see down beneath my feet, it's such a cool ship. Right, so this is an A blue-white star, so I can scoop from it, I've just got to be careful. Oh, look at this! This is stunning! You don't see that many Class A stars, but they are bloody brilliant. Okay, let's have a look at what's in this sector. Let's do our scan. What have we got? No new astronomical objects discovered. So, this is a star all of its own. Ah, oh, there you go. Someone else had discovered this one first. <coughs> so, it's a bit bigger than our own sun. That's cool. Surface temperature reading 10,000 Kelvin, which is about 10,000 degrees centigrade. Right, I've got to find my... Uh, 
Nebula, where are we? Oh, we're nearly pointing at it. Uh, I can't see the nebula. Is that it over on the left? There, that could be it, you know. Because the, the closer we get, the further away my jumps will be from it. Let's get away from the star a little bit. Let the, the background light uh, go down a bit. And as you see, as we get further away from the star that we're close to, um, you know, our vision, our light vision is going to get better and we'll be able to see all the surrounding stars much more easily. See, they're sort of coming into view. There's one over on the right there. This one, yeah, the nebula's getting brighter. I can see lots of smaller ones starting to appear on the left. There you go. I mean, looking at the galaxy helps because there you go. <laughs> that's always fairly bloody bright. Yeah, that's definitely the star I'm heading for, isn't it? That's the that's the nebula. So anyway, let's just get to let's get to this one. Uh, that's the button I've got. I'm still getting used to the buttons for this rather than going jump away. Um, yeah, I, I still use the voice software, but it is annoying because it does sometimes hear things wrongly, and it's much much easier not to do it when I'm recording. So I'm not bothering. Engage. Bam. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, what other what other information do I have about the Ghost of Jupiter Nebula? Um, it's a planetary nebula. I don't know quite what the difference is between that and any other kind of nebula, but I'm sure I'll find out and tell you. I did read it recently, but I didn't check. Didn't check before I recorded, so I can't remember. Let's scan it and do a discovery scan. Ooh, 12 new astronomical objects. And there's some very close by. Right, we'll have a look at those in a minute. I just need to scoop from this if I can. I'm going to guess that I can. Uh, yes, I can. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, it's an M. That makes sense. Right, let's get the fuel scoop rate right up nice and high, and then we'll... There we go. And then we'll sit here looking at the system map while that happens. So, uh, again, just a load of icy planets and a, uh, <coughs> a rocky asteroid field, asteroid belt. In which case, I'm, I'm probably not going to bother again. I'm just going to go straight for the next sector. This is getting easy, isn't it? There's one of the planets. Oh, look, that's getting much brighter now, that nebula. It's very blue as well. It, it's funny, further away it was a lot bluer. But I suppose the closer you get to it, the less you get, you know, particular colours and the more you get just pure light. So, um, yeah, fuck it, let's just... Let's, sorry, swearing. Let's just go. Um, we're getting ever closer. I'm very excited. Yeah, it has got a kind of corona to it, hasn't it? Like a, an outside... Oh, this is exciting. Right. I don't know how far away we are. We're jumping to... Well, somewhere near it, anyway. I don't know how many more jumps we have. I'll check once we once we arrive at the next star. Bam! Right, so... Um, oh god, the next one is... the actual one I want. Wow, so we're almost there. Anyway, let's explore this, get the fuel if we need it, if we can get some. And I'm gonna scan the system as well. Boom. 20 new astronomical objects. We've got to have some good planets in amongst that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look. Some nice metallic planets. And a great big couple of gas giants. Right, we're definitely going to go and see those. <coughs> Excuse me. But it looks like if someone's been here and scanned uh, this star and the planets around it, I would imagine they've been on a trip to the Ghost of Jupiter Nebula anyway, so... That's why. That's why. Yeah, that's that's a shame because I I'd love to have had my stamp on it, but it doesn't matter. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, let's go to this one first. I think this is probably the closest. Give it a good scan. See if I can get to it before it finishes scanning. Go get out of the sun's gravity first. That's better. That was quite quick. Right, it's a high metal content planet. Brilliant. Those are the ones that bring in the big bucks. There it is. I wish it did the draw distance a bit further for that, because sometimes you're just looking at a white dot and then suddenly it's like, oh, lol, it's a planet. But it still, doesn't matter. It's a nice looking planet, actually. I like it. Oh shit, going a bit fast. 
Bloody hell, nearly crashed there. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, oh, let's get to the next one. Uh, that's probably the next closest, and it's just there. Oh, look, there's my nebula. There's my nebula looking blue and brilliant. Wow, I'm going to have to get away from the sun or from the star in order to appreciate it in its beauty, actually. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a really tickly throat. I think it's partly a cold, partly hay fever. Mm. Whoops. Okay, come on, let's get away from that planet. I'm stuck in its gravity. I want to see this one up close, because this one looks cool on the system map. Yeah, it's more of a yellowy planet. Yeah, let's have a good look at it. Come on. Are right, you ready for it to appear from nowhere? <laughs> Any second now. It's got the right kind of size and shape there. There you go. Comes out of the fog. Yeah, nice nice planet. Nice yellowish planet. Looks like Venus. wonder what surface temperature is like, because it must have an atmosphere. And it's very, 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 very close to the, the sun. There you go. Uh, that one was 856. This one's 600 degrees as surface temperature. No atmosphere, though. Very cool. I wish I knew what half of that meant. Anyway, where's our next exploration? Ah, uh, that's an asteroid. Belt, so's that. So's that. Aha! This is the next planet to explore. It's 800 light seconds away, but I'm going to go and see it anyway, because it's going to be a, a cool one. Yeah, look, you can see it's surrounded by moons. Let's get to it. Shouldn't take long to travel that distance. Once I'm away from this planet's gravity, as I say, it takes a while to get out of the gravity pull. And then uh, once you have, it's a lot easier. Where's the sun? Where's the star? Oh, it just caught it at the edge there. I don't know if you've got my face up in the top right or the top left. I think it'll be the top right. I might put me in the top left this time, see if that's any different. What's beneath my feet? Oh, the galaxy. Let's put the galaxy beneath my feet. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, love this game, love this game, love this game. I haven't played for a while. Okay, right, well, it's already scanned, even though we're a long way away, but let's go and see it. So it's a gas giant with ammonia, and then that's supposed to say ammonia-based life. So it's a gas giant planet like Jupiter, but with, uh, yeah, ammonia-based life. That's quite cool. So it must be a, an ammonia atmosphere, I guess. Um... Oh no, hydrogen and helium atmosphere, but there we go. This is primarily a hydrogen and helium based atmospheric gas giant, but a little below the surface cloud layers, life exists based in the ammonia cloud layer. The chemistry of this gaseous region is far from equilibrium with a surprising excess of oxygen and many carbon based compounds, giving it some vivid colours. As with many gaseous living systems, it is underpinned by vast quantities of free floating radioplankton, tiny carbon based algae, each retaining a small quantity of liquid ammonia extracting their energy from the intense radiation flux. That's very cool. Oh, we're here. Let's start scanning one of the uh, moons. Actually, no, I, I can't be asked to scan moons. Moons are boring. And they get you no money and they're just boring. Um, whereas the planets, they're what are cool. There's another galaxy down there. Look, that tiny little pink thing. Cool brown colour. Right, let's let's find the next one. Uh, that'll be that. Let's go. You keep your moons. Oh, that galaxy is bright, isn't it? Out here where no no sunlight can affect me. Oh look, there's two moons up there orbiting each other. That's very cool. <laughs> Love it. Oh, let's scan this one as well before we're anywhere near it. How many were there? So there's those two which I scanned. We've just seen that one. I'm probably scanning that one now, and then there's a little one out in the middle of nowhere, so I'll go and find that afterwards. If it's not too far away, that is. Class 1 gas giant. So similar, then. Let's get a bit closer to it. 
Because it's not all about just scanning and then blindly leaving. It's about the beauty of the of the um, solar bodies as well. Ah, look, there's a there's the sun. Beautiful. I'll be there shortly. And then, how far away are we looking for the next planet? Uh, not very far away, I don't think. Oh, unless, hang on. No, those aren't orbiting each other, are they? That's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. It's one of its moons. But we want to see the, the planet, so I'm going to get a bit closer. <laughs> Shit, too fast. Although, actually, no, it's it's slowing me down based on the uh, the distance I am from those moons, actually. I like that. No life on this one, though. But that's okay. Still very cool. There we go, let's deselect it. Gets rid of the text. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at the broiling clouds, clouds of God knows what. Right. Okay, where's the next planet? It must be that one. 2,400 away, and I've just been going the wrong bloody way, haven't I? Alright, see you later, mate. Oh! <gasps> Look, there's my nebula! That is exactly... If you go and Google that now, that's exactly what it looks like. That is so cool. That's exactly what it looks like. That that I've got pictures on my desktop now that look like that. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about getting there. I almost don't want to go and get this planet. Although actually, this would make a very good photo. This planet in the foreground with the Ghost, ne uh, Ghost of Jupiter Nebula in the background. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because this this planet's going to be cool. It's going to be quite small, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. But it's going to have... Oh, radius, 11,000. So it's about twice... It's nearly twice the size of Earth. Um... And it's three times the mass. Right, yes, yeah, so it's going to be about twice the size of Earth. But that's quite small, that's quite quaint, and it's got a ring around it as well. Uh, I'm going to try and have that in front of the nebula, like with the nebula in the background. Let's do it this way. This is so awesome. <laughs> Come on, go further down. There we go. I need to try and angle it properly. I'm not a real I'm not a photographer really, but I, I do enjoy getting some pictures in this game. It's just too bloody pretty. There we go. That's fairly nicely lined up. I, I know I could have done that much easier there, but still, it doesn't hurt, does it? I'm travelling at twenty eight times the speed of light. I've got I've got fuel to burn. Oh, I am so impressed at that. That is so nice. And we're gonna be in that nebula very soon. I wonder if I'll have a bluish tinge, a bluish hue to it. How far away is it? So that's 25 light years away from where we are now. So I'm about nearly 1500 light years from Earth. Ha! Oh. Let's drop this a sec. How do I drop it? Uh, that's that button. Smash!